everyone and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with Stock Swish from Reviewing Adobe. Two nice calls on this today. One was an option, one was a regular day trade. So again, when you have a really good quality gap, which this was today, you can do it as a day trade or you could do it as an option trade. So this was to buy the 300 calls expiring Friday or you could have done the 290s. Wasn't sure exactly where this would open today, but either one would have worked. Um, and then we also did it as a day trade in the room. So just, I'm gonna go over this here very briefly, but this looks very nice. Um, in fact, I'm just gonna squeeze it up here. Perfect, 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 perfect entry in here. Did the ad, got the rally, here's the lift up, dropped down again, could have held it a little longer. Anyways, either way, no matter what you did with this, this was a very nice profitable day trade. I don't know if anybody really would have wanted to hold this through the minutes here at two o'clock for the actual equity trade. Because again, you gotta be out of day trades by four. But the option you could have got out in the run up here in the morning, or you could have held it through. And this could even continue tomorrow. But I mean, again, I've, I've reiterated this so many, so many, so many times that when you have a move in something, 50%, 100%, or more than 100% on the day in a trade, whether it's an equity trade or an option trade in this type of environment in this market, which is very whippy, it's very, very important to get out with profit. And it's very important to book the money, although this looks great. I mean, actually previous high in this was 291.70 and this ran up here and got over the highs. So uh, this almost got to 292 again, four minutes into the close, this is selling off a little bit, just longs taking um, their positions off here for the day. But it, you know, I think Adobe's higher um, and this could follow through tomorrow. So if people are out of the option, fine. If you wanna hold it through, fine. But again, in this market, I think booking money is key. It simplifies your life. It really makes it a lot easier for you. And this stock did it. And congratulations to everyone in the day trading room today because this was not easy. Um, if you look at this here, and I'm just gonna blow this up here and show you from this morning, this looked like it was gonna sell off, held the conviction, having conviction, holding conviction, and holding the conviction in a trade. If you take a trade in it and it's down until it goes until you're positive, is so vital, so important. So you had day traders trying to short this today to fill the gap down. That's the wrong thing to do. We were in this long, it held. I mean, this was so nice. Just a perfect read on this here. The momentum on Adobe was to the upside. It followed through, it continued. The day traders that tried to short this got pummeled today. It was never a short. This was a long, and this was just a beautiful, beautiful call. A, uh, this, this is this really, this type of call today, even though I mostly look at the shorts, was this was a long. Uh, this type of trade today like defines exactly what I'm so good at doing, which is reading price action and gaps, reading institutional buying and selling, because we went against the grain of what most day traders did with this today. The momentum was to the upside. Institutions were buying Adobe. They bought it up in the gap and it followed it through and the stock made new highs today. Great call. It's running out of day here. Again, take your profits when you're, at, when you're up in these trades. If you wanna hold some overnight, that's okay. Uh, but this was a nice move for Adobe today. It could very well continue Thursday. We'll have to see where the market opens tomorrow as well. If you're interested in the Golden Gap course, the class for June is this weekend, June 22nd and 23rd. Email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Have a great day, everyone.